Well, I guess everybody else is talking about the Nintendo Switch and its unveiling, but I won't because I really want to talk about this instead. Mark Cerny just came out with his big speech about what makes the PS4 Pro tick, and it basically confirms everything that I was talking about the past few months with the previous leaks and um, the leaked document spreads. So basically it confirms um, the clock speeds of the GPU and CPU, um, how much RAM is being used. Actually it confirms something else because it, um, according to Mark Cerny, there's more to this. There's Basically, um, an additional one gigabyte of DDR3 being used for the OS, which allows an additional one gigabyte of GDDR5 to be taken out and split in two. The first 512 megs will be going to, you know, the games, and the second 512 megs will be used to the, um, dynamic front buffer, you know, the um, the in-game menu and all that crap to render it 4K. Also, there's more talk about uh, checkerboard rendering and games um, being not even 4K. Some of these games are actually um, when checkerboard rendering are not even using the 4K final buffer. Um, Infamous First Light using um, checkerboard rendering will be uh, 1800p. So that's basically like um, the 4K equivalent to 900p. <laughs> but it's still better than 1080p. And I like that. I like that a lot. Also, um, as confirmed, the CPU is now, uh, it's still Jaguar, but it's now 2.13 gigahertz. And yada yada yada. <laughs> No, um, basically, um, thanks to, um, Eurogamer and Digital Foundry, um, this new find by, um, this new, this new detailed speak by, uh, Mark Cerny really opens up a lot of new details to what makes the PS4 Pro really, like, twice as powerful and more giving than the original PS4, and I really want the PS4 Pro more now. I just wish I had the money. Here's one out.